If you're like me, and you just started using the Arduino, you probably know about setup and loop, and sensors and actuators, and how to like lager and ale, two types you'll ever need to worry about. Oh, hi. Uh, some of you might be confused by what Arduino is and all that other nonsense. Well, it's a tool that helps you easily make gadgets. And if you want to learn more, you could check out this book, Getting Started with Arduino. Or you could go on Facebook and procrastinate. Either way, I'll be here waiting. I can never get past this point, and I saw a lot of my friends stuck in the same spot. It's like purgatory. Never leaving that getting started book, always blinking that same LED over and over, forever a noob. The problem was I couldn't break down a project into physical tasks. To give you an example, I wanted my blinds to open in the morning and close at night. Okay, break that project down into sensor and actuator. Have some way to sense light and have some way to adjust blinds. Easy said than done. What do I use to sense light? What do I use to adjust blinds? And what do I do when the cops shine a light into my house? He's not here! You won't find him alive! I can't solve my problem. However, if you gave the same task to an engineer, you'll look at my project and say, Oh, that's simple. Just use a photoresistor to sense the light. Now, how do you adjust the blinds again? Oh, you just turn it from one degree to another? Then just use a servo. So how do they do that? You see, when an engineer is solving a problem, not only are they breaking things down, but he was doing some internal tinkering, which you couldn't see. In an engineer's mind, there's a knowledge toolbox of different components that they can use in their projects. When a task is to be done, they compare it with the component to see if it's right for the job. For each component, not only do they know what it is, but what to use it for and what to expect when they actually use it. They know all these things about one little component because they have experience using them. That's why it's easy for an engineer, but for me, I have no idea. Because breaking down an Arduino project as a beginner is like solving a crossword puzzle with the vocabulary of a five-year-old. <laughs> but, so before we break things down, we need to build things up. So let's build our vocabulary of components. For each episode of Curious Components, we'll not only learn about one new sensor or actuator, but advance Arduino features like interrupts and calibration. So let's do it together. Let's see what the Arduino can really do.